Or do you want me to sit over here? All right then. The Ballad of Salvation Bill by Robert Service. Twas in the bleary middle of a hard boiled Arctic night. I was lonesome as a loon, so if you can imagine my emotions of amazement and delight when I bumped into that missionary man. He was lying lost and dying in the moon's unholy leer, and he was frozen from his toes to fingertips. The famished wolf pack ringed him, but he didn't seem to fear as he pressed his ice-bound Bible to his lips. Towards the limit of my trap line with the cabin miles away and every step was like a stab of pain. But I packed him like a baby and nursed him night and day till I got him back to health and strength again. So there we were, benighted in the shadow of the pole and he might have proved a priceless little part if he hadn't gotten to worried about my blessed soul and according me his Bible by the yard. Now there was I, a husky guy whose god was nicotine with a coffin nail, a fixture in me mug. I rolled them in the pages of a pulpwood magazine and hacked them with me jackknife from the plug. For oh, to know the bliss and glow that good tobacco means. Just live among the everlasting and ice. So judge my horror when I found my stock of magazines was chewed into a chowder by the mice. A woeful week went by, and not a single pill I had, me who'd smoked me forty in a day. I sighed, I swore, I strode the floor, I felt I would go mad. The Bible pusher watched in dismay. My brow was wet, my teeth were set, my nerves were rasping raw. And yet the preacher couldn't understand. So with despair I wrestled there. When suddenly I saw the volume he was holding in his hand. Then something snapped inside my brain, and with an evil start, the wolf man and we woke to rabid rage. I saved your lousy life, said I, so show you have a heart and tear me out a solitary page. He shrank and shriveled at me words. His face went pewter white. Twas just as if I had handed him a blow. And then... And then he seemed to swell and grow to heaven's height. And in a voice that rang, he answered, No. I grabbed my loaded rifle and jabbed it to his chest. Come on, you shrimp, hand over that book, says I. Well, sir, he was a parson, but he stacked up with the best. And for grit, I've got to hand it to the guy. If I should let you desecrate this holy word, he said, my soul would be eternally accursed. But go ahead, Bill. I'm ready. You can pump me full of red and take it. But you've got to kill me first. Well, I'm no foul assassin, though I'm full of sinful ways. And I knew right there the fellow had me beat. For I felt a yellow mongrel in the glory of his gaze. And I flung my foolish firearm at his feet. And wearily I turned away and dropped upon me bunk, and there I lay and blubbered like a kid. <sighs> Forgive me, pard, says I at last, for acting like a skunk, but hide the blasted rifle, which he did. And he also hid his Bible, which is maybe just as well, for the sight of all that paper gave me pain. And there were crimson moments when I thought I'd go to hell to have a single cigarette again. So I lay day after day, brooding dark and deep, until one night I thought I would end it all. So rough I roused the preacher where he stretched, pretending sleep with his map of horror turned towards the wall. See here, my pious pal, I've stood it long enough. Behold, I've mixed some strychnine in a cup. Enough to kill a dozen men. Believe me, it's no bluff. Now watch me, for I'm gonna drink it up. You've seen me bludgeoned by despair through bitter days and nights. 
Now you'll see me squirming as I die. But you're not to blame. Oh, you played the game according to your lights. But how would Christ have played it? Well, goodbye. And with that, I raised the deadly drink and laid it to my lips. But he was on me with a tiger bound. And as we locked and reeled and rocked with wild and wicked grips, the poison cup went crashing to the ground. Don't do it, Bill, he madly shrieked. Maybe I acted wrong. See, here's my Bible. Use it as you will. But promise me, you'll read a little as you go along? You do? Well then, take it, brother, and smoke your fill. And so I did. I smoked and smoked from Genesis to Job, and as I smoked I read each blessed word. While in the shadow of his bunk I heard him sigh and sob, and then a most peculiar thing occurred. I got to reading more and more, and smoking less and less, till just about the day his heart was broke, says I, Here, take it back, me lad, I've had enough, I guess. Your paper makes a mighty rotten smoke. So then and there, with a plea and a prayer, he wrestled for my soul, and I was racked and ravaged by regrets. But God was good. For next day, there came the police patrol, with paper for a thousand cigarettes. So now I'm called Salvation Bill. I teach the living law, and ballyhoo the Bible with the best. And if a fellow won't listen, well, I sock him on the jaw and preach the gospel sitting on his chest. Hmm. Is that enough? All right, then. I have to go to the bathroom.